Hi everybody. This is video two. <clears throat> in video two, we are taking the front spar, which you can see still in, wrapped in vinyl, and doing a little bit of uh, metal cleaning and countersinking. Uh, what you actually see is the stringers that uh, go into the front spar have been clecoed on with cleco clamps, half inch cleco, cleco clamps, which is uh, required as they have been a little curved from the shaping process. And now I am match drilling holes from the spar into the stringers. There's also a big doubler for this front spar as well, which uh, you'll see me start to deburr here in just a minute. After I deburr the stringers, And of course, deep burning the spar as well. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. So you have to you have to match drill two sets of holes into these stringers. One is from the main face of the spar and the other one are for the flanges. So the flange holes are all uh, size uh, 30 drills and you do those first. Then the instructions are very clear. You remove the stringers, you deburr the holes, and you make sure there are no metal bits. You don't want any metal shavings in between the two pieces to in any way slightly adjust the position of the stringers. So you remove the stringers, you deburr everything, then you clico the stringers back on, then, because you will have another tight fit of the stringer to the spar, then they'll be in the correct position. Now we are going to go and match drill all of the number 40 holes that correspond to the stringers that are in the flange. Found out something very important that day is that uh, electric uh, drill that I use, while nice and lightweight, uh, can only handle about 250 holes per charge. Of course, it's also drilling through rather thick aluminum. So as I'm drilling down, I'm also click going behind myself. The thing is, the stringers come completely undrilled. It's just a piece of angle aluminum or bent angle aluminum that you. Uh, slightly shave some of the edges off so it's tapered and then you have to drill all these holes. So this thing is not made uh, in any way with any pre-drilled anything and it's uh, so there's no actual indication. It j Van just tells you, you know, center up on the spar and it tells you a sp specific number of uh, rivet holes away from the edges to make sure that the uh, lines are there. I mean, it's kind of common sense. You can basically, if you line it up in the center, they go to the same holes on both sides of the spar, but there is a specific uh, count 
uh, which still is the center, by the way. Anyway, now uh, in this ending, in the next video, we will start doing the doubler work for the front spar. See you.